Sawadee Krap. Welcome to Phuket Extra. I'm JK LMNOP, M-E-S-T-A-N-C, and it's Wednesday, January 24th. Here's the news you need to know. The Phuket governor is being urged to form a team to tackle marine environmental problems. That's a request that's being made by local conservation group Goeco Phuket. Fed up with the lack of progress by officials to follow up on cases involving environmental protection laws, Goeco Phuket presented the request this morning at Provincial Hall, and they also spoke with reporters citing their frustrations with officials and local police about slow or failed cases. The request is for the governor to set up a team made up of officials from not just the Marine Police, but also the Navy, Tourism Business Office, Marine officials, and the group themselves to deal with cases threatening marine life. For more on this story, visit thephuketnews.com. And the leaders of the Bangkok shut down the street protests in 2013 and 2014 that ended with the military coup, where well, they're now being arraigned on multiple charges, including illegal assembly, insurrection, and some are even being charged with terrorism. Sute Tasuban, the former leader of the People's Democratic Reform Committee and the face of the Bangkok shutdown, which was all to protest the Yingluck Shinawat administration, he's being charged with terrorism along with Chumpol Julesai. Nine people in all were indicted by the Office of the Attorney General today and were later released on 600,000 baht bail with charges ranging from everything, including illegal assembly, insurrection, and obstructing an election. The Bangkok shutdown began in January 2014 after the then civilian elected government, headed by Yingluck Shinawat, dissolved the House of Representatives in December 2013, and protesters in several parts of the country prevented advanced voting for the general election, all of which ended when the military led a coup in May of 2014. And unsatisfied with the findings of an army probe over the death of their 18-year-old son, the family of former army cadet Pakapon Tonya Khan will file a lawsuit against the Royal Thai Armed Forces. Let's start from the beginning, as back in October, the 18-year-old Pakapong died suddenly at the Armed Forces Preparatory Academy, and his family later performed a secret autopsy where doctors found several of his organs were missing and his head was stuffed with tissue paper. The army originally said he died of cardiac arrest and later proved by an army appointed panel reiterated this notion, which flew in the face of suspicions that the cadet died following severe beatings. Earlier this week, the family met with the panel chairman and they emerged from that meeting visibly upset with more questions and reports say that they plan to file a lawsuit. For more, visit thepuketnews.com. And sit tight, Phuket Extra will be right back after this. Welcome back to Phuket Extra. A heinous story involving the director of a school accused of being in a sexual relationship with a 14-year-old student is making headlines as details emerge that he had done it previously at another school. Natapop Bun Tong To, the director of a school in Nakhon Ratchasima province, is facing disciplinary and criminal investigations over his relationship with the 14-year-old student, of which he's being accused. And it came to light after members of the school committee released copies of chat messages showing their alleged special relationship. Even still, the Bangkok Post reports that the school committee were also aware of his affair with a girl at a previous school and they had asked officials not to transfer him to their school, though their requests were denied, and the latest alleged relationship began three months after he arrived. The accused school director has now been transferred to an inactive post at the Nakhon Ratchasima Education Zone office. The investigation is ongoing. And a food vendor was found selling seahorses on a stick to Chinese tourists for 150 baht in Pattaya. Plans are now in the works to ban the fishing of seahorses in Thai waters. The fisheries department is discussing the ban as we speak, with some officials from the agency investigating whether the seahorses that were being sold at the Pattaya floating market earlier this week were farmed or fished from the wild. The seafood stall at the popular market has now been shut down after photos were posted on social media showing the seahorse kebabs being sold for 150 baht each. And according to a marine ecologist and lecturer at Katsitsar University, 
Chinese tourists are the main buyers of the quote delicacy, believing it gives them curative powers. And that's it for Phuket Extra today. If you're watching us on YouTube or thephuketnews.com, you can check out all these stories on the links below. From all of us at the Phuket News Center, thank you for watching. And until tomorrow, stay classy, Phuket. ทำไมถึงทำกับฉันได้